Guys, how beautiful is this? Wait, surprise me with some bouquet. Uh, they're from my favorite florist, Poho Flowers. And you should see his note. His note, which got wet in the rain, Vicky, sorry, says, Happy fourth anniversary, my love. These flowers are bright and bold, just as you've continued to be since we met. I'm looking forward to spending the next four years with you. I'm not sure if he wants to keep spending more after that four, but I cried when I read this. What to wear, what to wear. First, let's look at the weather. Hmm. 16, 17 degrees, windy and cold. Oh, there's a big dog outside. <laughs> All right, so 16, 17 degrees. I usually actually plan my outfit the night before but I thought for today oh you know what I've actually got time because I have to tell you guys I have a 9 30 p.m call today for work because someone is in EMEA so I thought all right I can get started early with vlogmas and then come back for after our dinner get home and take that call I usually don't do that late probably happens less than five times <clears throat> very much a handful right handful a year where I do those really late calls and today is one of them unfortunately and it's it's just very time it's a uh, time sensitive that I need to do it get it done today so this is where I put all my singlets we haven't made the bed we never make the bed oh that's actually kind of okay I have all my singlets in here and then all my tops that are well sleeveless tops tops with sleeve and my jumpers are in there my dresses are all in there my jackets are in there my skirts are in here and i have my some foldable tops in here as well some jumpers short skirt and some wade clothes anyway i think this is actually kind of cute mm. or is it <laughs> I'm going to show Wade, see what he thinks. This is it. This is what we'll wear. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Today is a very special day. It's our fourth wedding anniversary and also my dad's birthday. So I'm doing a get ready with me because we're going out on a date and this is probably the um, you saw me in the b-roll picking an outfit so I picked the skirt and I picked a top and then I put it on and I didn't like it so I swapped it around so now I'm feeling like <clears throat> this skirt is really cute and really accentuates my hips it's really nice and you'll see what I'm talking about when I do a fit showing it's just that the lining inside I don't like <clears throat> all the lap thereof and the stitching underneath scratches against my thighs and I don't know if I'm gonna like it I don't know, I'm just not 100% vibing it but we don't have a lot of time left what I'm gonna do is just take you along with me as I get ready and then you guys can join us for our dinner as well so let's start off with my makeup I haven't been putting a lot of makeup but I'm actually quite I've got a pretty good kit of makeup for someone that doesn't do a lot of it. You've seen this before, my MAC Prep and Prime Primer. I always start with that, let that settle, as everything else settles. Oh, and I forgot to moisturize myself, oh, my face, this morning. So I'm just doing that now, because always good to moisturize first before makeup, but I totally forgot this morning. I should have done that. So always clean thy face always moisturize upward i wasn't gonna wear makeup but then i'm like i oh, you know what let's do it because of my sunburn but i think it's slightly gone now it's just a uh, shoulder that's why i'm wearing a singlet it hurts otherwise let's settle for a minute i do my hair last all the time okay 
Okay, I think we can prime now. I have the Porefessional Benefit Primer, which is a pore minimizer. My pore has been pretty good actually since I started taking collagen, so it's not so bad. What did you guys think of the flower? The oil sand is so pretty, isn't it? And the note is just super sweet. And I, this is the thing, I need to be near a sink when I do makeup because every time I put a product on and use my hands, I always wash my hands straight after. I just need to be close to water. I think it's just my OCD. And I have a today, because we don't have a lot of time left, time check, 4.54, I wanna leave at 5.45. It's an hourglass foundation stick in Vanish Ivory. to your makeup i hate it when it does that like the flaky i think it's just my skin is dry i'm definitely a combination see my forehead's definitely oh, see, it's, see it's doing it i don't know if you guys can see it oh god and we've got this from real techniques so it makes it easy to clean your brusher i would usually use a used to olive oil and dishwasher one is one is to three ratio then would brush it just like that and then rinse, rinse it and the texture there would clean the brushes but lately i've just been using normal hand washing it not worrying about the oil and the dishwashing liquid <laughs> i do have a few contouring kits but what i'm trying to do is just finish one because i don't like having multiple like if i have a primer i just want to have one primer for my face foundation i just want to have one stick and one liquid i don't want to have too many of any products so i'm trying to just finish as much as i can and try to use one so this is called Do dr jart plus which i got from sephora ages ago so let's just start with the highlighter i think it's a korean brand let me have a look double check yeah it is made in korea so Vibing my skin. Oh well. Hi. Mm. So we've already primed it. Now I'm gonna use my Benefit Hard Angle Definer Brush. I bought them together, and this is my Browsing Medium. So it's got never used those ones for free. It's got the powder and a little bit of gelish one in there, and I think they still exist the browsings, but it looks slightly different now. Like that. Perfume. So I put a couple of sprays, but nothing nowhere else. It's a Stella McCartney. I am not a perfume person. This was gifted to me by Crystal. Hi, if you're watching. And this was ages ago. Okay, Prime Queen. So it's my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Premier Potion. You look handsome. That's good. That's all right. Which one should? Yeah. Help you. you don't have to. No, I don't. It's cute how I check my outfit with him and he's checking his outfit with mine. Okay, so I'm a bit lazy, but I am actually going to brave an eyeliner. Now, all right, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Time. So it's like a glittery brown. Simple. Now, this is my Kat Von D tattoo liner, waterproof in trooper black. So it is a pen tip, felt tip. Okay, I'm gonna have to. 
can store that lot rather than Then I'm going to put my blush just a little bit, the Sephora Colorful in So Surprised shade, which is again very old, <clears throat> and my Eco Tools blush brush. Okay, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills that you put in the um, arc of your brows. So arc of your brow and underneath here as well. So there is a matte and a shimmery. I'm going to go for a matte. It's 5.23, so I've got a bit of time. And now we're going to put on my lip liner. I'm using the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Anti-Feathered Pencil. And I believe they are no longer in business, so that's how old this one is. This Leapy is a matte one and it comes with its own pen it sharpener, which is great. It's from Nude Sticks. The thing I don't like about it is that, you know when people complain about matte drying their lips? This one definitely does, yeah? So this is a, it's a Canadian brand, but yeah, here you go. And I'm going for the Burgundy. It actually gets pretty hard to remove it. Well, I hate it feels really heavy, so. Unfortunately, don't recommend, but it looks nice and I've already bought it, so might as well finish it. Hello, we now have the complete outfit. You can also see the laundry and the ironing that we need to do in the background, but how beautiful are those flowers? You surprised me with them. This is only the second time it's given me flowers, guys. Only the second time we've been together for 11 years. Anyway, so I'm wearing my Essential V earrings from Louis Vuitton. And then just, Vuitton. <laughs> and just a very thin necklace, gold necklace in there. And I've got my H&M top, which you would have seen. It's all just elastic in there. It's actually flared, but I've tucked it in given that the skirt, how cute is that? I told you guys how it just really accentuates that, the, the hips. It's really nice. It looks really nice. I did buy it for very cheap in Bangkok from the Platinum Mall. And then my favorite leather jacket, the only black leather jacket that I have because you don't need multiple, y'all. So this is from Portman's and my shoes are from Valentino's. They're very comfortable. I love them. It's got gold stud in it. And then I got these really cute ring it's just a green emerald green and some fuchsia pink ones my purse yes so i've got my mark jacobs sling back from which i bought from macy's on sale many moons ago i like saying that don't i <laughs> but it's really old but i'm going to carry it like that the way i was holding it earlier so that's the fits guys <coughs> They smell amazing. So these are some sort of zucchini. That's duck heart. This is prawns, exo prawn. And these are some crumbed anchovies. Yum. And these are ways non-seafood options. They tear apart all tear, just like afternoon croissants. Strolling over bridges that were built in Renaissance. Isn't that what every Roman's love and 20-something woman wants?
Look at that fat. Look at that fat though. It's so fatty. <laughs> There is, okay, thank you. It will all be really quick. I asked him if that will annoy him if I turn that on. And he God, said, turn the light off. <laughs> he said, yes, but he turned it on. So I didn't turn it on, but he turned it on anyway. Okay, so we will be home at 9 11 p.m. I have a 9 30. Wade, what did you think of Automata? It was, uh, I was gonna say, the one that we had in Maji was probably better from a modern Australian point of view. Yeah? that's what i thought like that is real don't get me wrong guys every everything was good all the dishes were amazing the whole f everything is good but there's just really i did not like the goat cheese with the bread in the end the mango was a bit weird but it's still nice the mango had chili in it you guys and you would have seen that and the dessert the yogurt with soft meringue the meringue was nice as i said all the courses were amazing but if i would probably just compare it to the zen yeah that was the long lunch there with three hours that was really good but anyway so wade thinks it's just okay i think it's great but there's a tough competition out there for modern australian fine dining thank you guys for watching see you again tomorrow happy vlogmas